Watch this! Valera versus Mecha Jaraxxus! Have you seen the Embrace Flash Heal APM list? Uh, yes. Uh, it was something that I was actually not that particular build, but something similar I was considering with... Um, because before Jadro got nerfed, I was getting hit hard by uh, Geist, where it would just come down and I'd lose. So I, I learned, like that doesn't correct the Flash Heal thing, but you still have Regenerate to where um, it was something that I was considering as a hedge against Skulking Geist. But my build was still different. I was using the, uh, the draw engine from... Um, uh, from the death rattle synergy still so I'm curious to try it out I don't know because the draw engine from the quest variant is really good and I would hesitate to give that up but it's definitely an interesting concept opponent played so badly yeah like uh, the decision to include a um, potion of madness in big priest it's a bit confusing oh hey we drew thick patches Suit Bender, Priest of the Feast. That sounds like fun. Well, he just killed his own guy. I feel dumb for not hitting now. Um, here. Coin Void Caller. And then we lose. It's a weird looking Void Caller. I'll leave it undamaged because I've got the uh, the skulkers. So okay. Today, in irrelevant Hearthstone events, I burn two cards. Feels weird, man. Hellfires are clear. I'd be really happy if this were a swash burglar, but unfortunately it is not. Oh, hey! I, I'm so used to drawing patches, I forgot that could happen. Did you see that, guys? Like, he just came straight out of my deck. It was nuts. That's some sweet, sweet tempo. Type and soul, sure. We'll just play another 5 mana 5-6. Five, I'm probably uh, playing to top deck Leroy. Nice stats, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I should be counting damage right now. But I'm not. It is... Or 12, we're one off. That's unfortunate. Feed the fish, lover. What Here we go. We'll hedge a bit against Reno since we have the cold blood in hand. Yeah, I saw his tweet, and I'm like, I have no reason not to believe that he's right about that. Uh, I just haven't, I haven't tested it myself, so I can't say for sure. Also, I really enjoy playing like the objectively incorrect line sometimes, so that's what we're doing here. Like, I just like getting value off of my brand. We pretty much always lose to Void Caller, though. Or Void Daddy. We can beat that. Oh, 
Oh, right. This can attack this turn. Good save, chat. Good save. This is why we're still ranked, too. Can you easily squeeze in one beneath the grounds? Yeah, but I don't really want to. Like, that doesn't uh, get me cards from my opponent's class that I can then use to meme on them. Squash is a bad keep. I'd rather just have the buck. Turned our curse into our strength. None will survive. I need to force him to have an answer to the buck so that he can't just like throw down a totem golem. Having the coin in this matchup is good because it activates my vile spine and my trap card. You literally have one decision here. Unless he runs zap and he's planning to he's trying to decide should I zap this totem? I don't know. Ooh, Skulker's good too. Skulker's also spicy with the Sonya. So this is like a soft check for Maelstrom Portal weapon. The usual suspects. He full mold though, so... Could be that he doesn't have any of those. We can also see if he's a Galaka gamer. Strange trade, friendo. Strange indeed. Uh, but, uh, thanks. It worked out significantly better for me than it needed to. No idiot totem. Ugh! Idiot totem. I did tell you he full mold. So this isn't terribly unexpected. Uh, Jade Lightning would be bad, but we're probably just going Sonya next turn. Maybe Sonya Cold Blood. Low roll, low roll, low roll. That was not a low roll. Uh, what is the play here? Why would I trade into that when I just have a Skulker next turn? Second Flame Tongue? Nope. There's the portal. This is a pretty good looking Skulker. I mean, just look at how handsome he is. Best part, we can bounce him back to hand if he survives with Sonya next turn and try that all over again. Uh, maybe that's not the play here. I'm noticing that my opponent has a face. So I'm going to attack it. Uh, next turn, we he's probably going to make the trade here, right? So next turn, we can get Sonya value. Second big man would be a bit spooky, though. That's never a correct trade. That makes it a correct trade. Oh, Pogchamp. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking it would be great if we could run double Zilliax in this deck.
yeah, like almost every card in our deck is uh, is minion, so that's very good. Especially if he plays like a Lich King right here. Oh, uh, never lucky. Well, sometimes lucky because he does play that card on purpose. All right, get some peddler value. We've already seen one portal, so I'm not really scared of another. I gotta protect my cute little uh, snow flipper, though. Also, maybe I should have held this so that I can make it cost negative two next turn. <laughs> Reno Mage? Um, probably not this season, because I think the deck's kind of bad, but um, I'll probably be playing again next month. I need to, uh, I need to test some semi-serious decks as he plays Burgle Odd Rogue. Feel the power of the moon. Wow, such power. Alright, he's gonna give me another Zilliax, most likely. Fine, this guy's testing bad decks for you? No. I too like four mana three threes. But I mean, I guess he showed me by taking care of that, uh, that Harbinger. Harbinger. Yeah, that, that, that was over. Yeah, Snow Flipper hard carry. You love to see that. 